Hey guys, and I want to give you my predictions for the upcoming September 1st Apple keynote. Now, Apple events in September have traditionally been to announce new iPads. Uh, new iPods. So if history is anything to go by, that will be what's happening this September. Um, but I hope with a few extra things. So let me go ahead and run through, run through what I expect. Uh, to be announced. Firstly, it's no surprise to anyone that uh, that we expect the iPod Touch to receive a camera. Although the prevailing opinion now is that um, the camera will be in the front and so the the rear to open up access to Apple's FaceTime uh, technology between iPhones and iPod Touches. That'd be cool. But that then that would then mean that. Um, and FaceTime would have to work over email addresses so maybe Apple are going to open up some infrastructure but we just don't know um, the, the, there's, been, there's been some rumours that the iPod Classic is going to be killed although it certainly is the big, the big daddy or the granddaddy if you will of the iPod line with that 120 gig model so um, I think unless they can put a hard drive or a high amount of solid state in the iPod Touch for a cheap amount, remember I I don't think that they'll kill off the iPod Cla the iPod Classic because um, some people are always going to want that increased amount of storage. Uh, okay, um, so those are the two big iPod rumors. There's some. There's some nano stuff as well, but I I, I don't really think much of that's um, notable. What I want to talk about is other things that might be announced. There's been a lot of a lot of speculation. Um, like I said, this is normally an iPod event, but there's been a lot of speculation about the Apple TV. Certainly, um, Steve Jobs has admitted himself in the past that. Apple TV has been a bit of a flop, um, but well, everyone's now led to believe that Apple TV is going to get up, refreshed, um, to be the size of the iPhone. Some people um, think that it is going to be a device running iOS that plugs into your TV, but then there'd be um, four different iOS devices, the iPhone, the iPod Touch, the iPad and if if you take that room with the Apple TV and um, but I'm not sure how well segmenting the the iTunes app store would work for that because it's already segmented enough by iPhone apps and iPad apps. Um iPhone apps would not run well on a on a ten eighty P HD T V. It just wouldn't work. Um, uh, and now, now let's get on to what's what's most important for me, for me with this rumor, um, and that is that is the um, possible announcement of iOS 4 for, for this for for this guy, the iPad. As a lot of you know, I'm an iPad owner, and I love the device. However, I can't wait to get some iOS 4 on it to allow multitasking and um, uh, and folders is particularly the one that I'm looking forward to. I can't wait to have some folder organisation for my iPad. Um, so the hope is that iOS 4 will be getting released for free for the iPad. Um, there's been some rumblings of iLife updates, but again, I don't think that will happen at an iPod event. At an iPod event, even even the iPad um, rumours are sketchy whether it'll happen or not. But again, the, this is the the first year of the iPad, so I think we are likely to to see it. Um, uh, uh, I hope that if iOS 4 
does come out for the iPad that they um, rework the multitasking UI so it works better for a bigger screen and really really leverages um, what what that bigger screen gives you the, that that would at least give them an excuse for why it's taken them so long to get iOS 4 out to iPad owners um, I hope that there will be no question that the the operating system will be free um, for for all. So there's just a quick roundup of the rumours surrounding the September first Apple keynote. What 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 do you expect to be announced? You can leave a comment down below. Um, I'll post a video response if that if that's your thing. Um, Please subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching.